Find the angle between 0 and 360 degrees that is coterminal to negative 40 degrees. So the first thing is, in order to answer this, we first have to graph negative 40 degrees. So since this is degrees, let's plot our uh, values around the circle. Now, also it's negative. Now remember, the negative sign tells you that you're going to rotate clockwise now around. And all your values then will be negative. So in other words, you probably memorize this as this is positive 90, and that's great. But now when you rotate counterclockwise, this becomes negative 90. Okay, and then guess what this is? Negative 180, and guess what that is? Negative 270, okay? So when you rotate negative 40 degrees, what that means is that you're going to start on the positive x-axis. You always start on that positive x. And what you're going to do is, well, don't take the whole axis with you. What you're going to do there is then you're going to rotate this now downwards or clockwise 40 degrees. So maybe roughly around there or so, okay? So this angle in there will represent the negative 40 degrees. All right. Now what they want us to do is they want us to find the angle that is co terminal okay so co means what together right cooperate to operate together okay and terminal what does terminal mean end so this is the terminal side terminal side okay of the red angle there so maybe let me put that in red how about that let me put that in red so let's color that we'll put it in red okay and now I have to draw another angle that is coterminal, meaning it ends in the same spot as this one does. Okay, and let me put it a little off if I can get it a little bit off. Something like that is good, okay? So you can just see it's a little bit off there. And I have to now, all the coterminal angles are going to be in reference to the positive x axis, okay? So in other words, draw a line here, all right? And what really happens here, let me see if I can grab this. Yeah, what really happens is this. You're going to start back at the start at positive x, and then you're going to rotate all the way around, okay, and reach the co-terminal, the same terminal side. Now, since I rotated that around, and this is always with counterclockwise, you'll be rotating it because it's in reference to, it, it's a positive answer now, okay? So what we need to do now is we need to then kind of reorient ourselves with the numbers. So this would be zero then in blue. This would be now the positive 90, just like we said before. This is then the positive 180. This is then the positive 270. So my answer is now, well, what is this angle going to be here? Well, it's at least 270, right? How do you figure this out now? Well, you know this is 40. So what is this piece then in here? Well, that should be then 50, right? You might say, well, is it negative 50 or positive? It doesn't matter. It's just the absolute value of 50. So if you know you had to rotate 270 degrees to get to there, and then you had to add another 50, what do you think the total measurement is? That's right. It's simply 300. And what? 30, right? 330? So it's basically then 270 uh, plus then 50, right? And that was two, uh, 300, excuse me. Hopefully I said 320. I'm not really sure what I said now, but 320, okay? That's the coterminal angle. What you can also do is you can also basically take <clears throat> 360 in this case and subtract out the 40 from it, okay? And that would have gotten you the same place, 320. That's the coterminal angle. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hopefully that helps. I'll see you in the next problem. Take care.